In this Blender tutorial I will show you how to create a cylinder with curved top and base edges. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. Start by removing the cube. To do this simply press X on your keyboard then left click on delete. Now hold down shift followed by A and next to mesh left click on cylinder. Now I'm going to improve the quality of this cylinder a bit so in the box it says vertices 32 to the left of the screen I'm going to just double the, this uh, number so I'm going to left click and type in 64 and then I'm going to hit return. I'm going to duplicate this cylinder by holding down shift followed by D and then hit return then resize the cylinder by pressing S followed by 2 and left click. Now press 1 followed by 5 on your numbers pad to go into top orthographic view roll your middle mouse to zoom in a bit and then press tab on your keyboard to go into edit mode. Now we're going to put some slices through this uh, from left to right through this cylinder now you can usually do this by holding down Control R, but because I've got this screencast on, it doesn't work very well. So I'm going to select Loop, Cut, and Slide. Also, um, before I do that, just keep an eye at the bottom left of the screen because this will bring up the number of cuts you're putting in. So you'll see what I mean in a minute. Okay. So left click, Loop, Cut, and Slide. Bring your mouse over to the edge of your cylinder so you can see a pink line and then roll your mouse and keep an eye on the number of cuts on the bottom left hand side just roll it till it's I don't know about 20 cuts number of cuts 20 then left click and right click press A to deselect everything and Z to go into wireframe view don't worry about the uh, cylinder in the middle this you won't be able to do anything with this because you haven't selected it in the object mode. Um, anyway, also come down to the bottom of the screen and look for the cube with a face highlighted on it. This is your face select button and left click on it. And then press 7 on your numbers pad to go into top view. Now if you press C on your uh, keyboard this brings up a circular select. Just roll your mouse till you've got a reasonable size circle in the middle and then left click followed by right click. Now we're going to inset the edges on this um, these two faces that you've selected. I'm just going to show you what's happened here in a minute. So if you hold down your middle mouse you can rotate your view. You probably know this already but I assume you're a bit of a beginner. So I've selected both the faces and I'm just going to press 7 to go into top view again. Now I'm going to inset these faces. Now to inset um, a face you just press I on your keyboard. So I'm going to, but I'm going to press I followed by point 1 and then left click. Now don't do anything else. If you hold down shift followed by R you can repeat the previous operation. So hold down shift followed by R and just Keep your shift button held down and just press R until everything meets in the middle and left click. Now for some reason or another uh, my center has gone all to pot. Um, I don't know what's happened there. It's probably because I right clicked when I didn't need to. If you, you do find this happens, to recenter your um, I mean right now if I brought up an object it would actually come up here rather than in the middle. So anyway, it's just to recenter this, just press Shift C and that will bring it back to its original point. Okay. Press tab on your keyboard to go into edit mode or sorry object mode. And then one on your numbers pad to go into uh, front view. I'm going to recenter using my shift and my middle mouse button because everything went wrong when I moved this and press Z on your keyboard to go into solid view. OK. Right at the screen, look for the button that looks like a wrench. This is your modifiers button. Left click on this. Then left click add modifier. And then look for 
the word shrink wrap and left click on this. Now in the target box left click and left click on cylinder and you will shrink down to the original cylinder that's behind this. Now in the offset box hold your left mouse button down and move it to your mouse to the right and you'll end up with a cylinder that's got a curved top and bottom base. You can change it again till you press apply. Once you're happy with what you've got left click on apply and the only other thing to do now is remove the original cylinder so left click on cylinder don't left click on cylinder 001 and then just press X on your keyboard and left click on delete right click on your new cylinder and if you want to smooth it obviously over here left hand side left click on smooth if you want to resize it just press S and move your mouse until you're happy with the size you've got and that's basically all there is to it um, hopefully that's helped somebody thank you for watching cheers